for a social, personal, connected uh, learning experience while you read. So reading isn't about getting it. Reading is about learning. It's about your concepts growing as you read. So, I think that's been a good experience for it. And then, you know, dialogues are yet another tool where they're not just taking in the lecture, but they're talking back to it all the time. Um, and once again, I think that's not a common or comfortable experience for many students, but they need to learn it. They need to learn to capture those movies of their minds that, uh, that are there for them. So, yeah, if you understand that concept of of an active mind and the importance of capturing your active mind, uh, I always want to ask that of any resource I find, like how will my students capture their thinking as they're looking at this stuff? Reminds me that uh, doing a show on annotations would be a good thing to do. Let me that through a little bit. Ooh, it's a construction to deal with. So I should maybe be finishing this up. There's something else. I'm not sure what it was. That doesn't matter too much. Um, there's a, something about the iterative process that I think is important um, to consider in blended learning situations, but really any curriculum. But the downside of blended learning is you're supposed to have the curriculum all set and kids just work through it. Oh, that's, that's one way to think about it. So to what degree is it an iterative game? That's too much in one sentence there, but... Uh, yeah. To teach the economics of... Uh, Katie, for example, I can't think of a better thing than to have kids play a game. I should have kids sign up for uh, that game. Let me do that. Maybe tr drag together some economic kids and see if they can sign up for the uh, game where there's they have to deal with an oil spill. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Even if it's three kids, they can form a team. And and participate in that virtual economic game. There's also um, the IAT, which is really an economics thing, isn't it? Um, that uh, I want to hook kids up with. So, how how to help? curriculum planners to build in interactive experiences on so many different levels from interactive reading to social networking to game playing and then game building as part of the uh, part of the curriculum it's an important part of blended learning so there you go that's plenty to chew on what do you think I think so. And, uh, you know, we're all going to be doing it sooner or later, so whether or not, you know, I go to a school where blended learning is something that's emphasized, you know, I, it's 
kind of on me to bring it up myself, isn't it? Um, so, thanks for uh, paying attention, and I'll see you later.